10 o'clock Feeding for the guap, I be beaming Guys, you're saying what's up? You're probably like, bitch, why the fuck are you in your kitchen though? And it's because my house has no no good lighting like I'm not even kidding right now it's so dark outside it's 8 30 and it's as if the Sun just took the day off I'm using my like kitchen chandelier as lighting to do this intro okay today we're back with a goddamn vlog like this bitch really is just a vlogger at this point but there's a lot I have to share with you guys I haven't talked to you I haven't actually filmed a vlog since my editorial shoot which was two weeks ago it's been a minute, so I have a lot to tell you guys, obviously. This is my l second last week of classes for school, so I was like, let's just do one last fucking round of me suffering through all my schoolwork, show you guys what's up. I feel like my heat's at 27. First things first, I, okay, I'm gonna go get it. I'll <laughs> be right back. I did order myself two softbox lights along with a background stand because I'm gonna be setting up a little at-home studio. You guys know what the fuck it is. In the basement, um, this means I can film endless outfit videos. Obviously, it's winter out now, so filming outside isn't really an option unless I'm filming like only winter. Uh, no, it's just shitty, honestly, because I have to get someone to help me and then I feel bad because they're freezing and I'm just like, you know, sorry, but like, this means I can film at any time I want. Like if I had this shit set up right now, I won't be in my goddamn kitchen, you know? I'd be in the basement stew. I'm super excited. It's obviously not industry grade lighting, honey. It's Mount Dog, two shadow boxes. This is just lighting to start off with. Honestly, I eventually will get better quality lighting, but it's not so much about the quality as just having like an overhead light. I have one class today from 12 until two. The first hour is just like an office hour kind of thing to learn about the new research it's like fuck this research class okay not actually and we're just learning about the new research proposal we have to do i feel like every vlog there's a new research project which is so funny because it's like probably the most relevant um in my opinion to like what i'm interested in and then today i'm about to sit at my desk and finally pick my final three images from my fruits editorial shoot because honey it's been two weeks and i'm just like I don't want to touch the 700 frames like I just don't but I had a call with my teacher got some advice and I'm gonna do probably like three different layouts using different photos I'm just gonna get that going because I need to just do that and I've been doing other stuff so I've kind of put it on the back burner also with things like that that I really care about I need to be in like the perfect mindset is what I tell myself which never happens you know what I mean but I'm debating if I'm gonna make a smoothie if I'm gonna make coffee I kind of fell into a bad habit this week of just having coffee for breakfast like that is so unlike me number one I don't even care that much about coffee number two I always eat a fucking disgustingly big breakfast and lunch and dinner I don't know what happened I honestly think it was just that I'm like, kind of lazy right now I don't know why I'm gonna turn the kettle on going through photos for the last hour so I'm narrowing down my final four photos that I'm gonna be using for my spread I showed you guys some of the photos these are mostly outtakes I love this photo but it's not it doesn't work for the project that I'm doing the final four I've chosen okay so this is the this is my favorite spread for sure I have a close-up of these bags I did a fisheye lens on this I'm still kind of debating how extreme I want to take the fisheye, but this is it for now. These are just like super lightly edited, basically just adjusting the levels, the brightness, contrast. And then these two, I think this is going to have to be the first spread because I'm going to have the fruits title right here. It's 1047 right now. I've been doing this since I last chatted with you guys, honestly, a lot faster than I thought. I'm obsessed with these photos. Shouts out to Anna for modeling for me. She did such a great job and it was really hard to choose, but this was another one of the options I was debating on doing a moment like that. Okay, I switched over to InDesign and I did finish one of the first pages. I am so excited about this, like for real, this couldn't be better. And the graffiti also just plays so well with the text. Hold on, I'll show you the image I was referencing. I've looked at a ton of different magazine covers obviously 
but I really like the text on this side for this one. Basically, my computer is a fruits archive at this point. This whole vlog just turned into my eating. <laughs> I'm having lentil soup with avocado and I'm just doing a lecture. This looks so fucking cringe, but it's about blend modes. <laughs> Anyways, this is the vibe. It's like five o'clock. I'm in my kitchen because I'm about to make some avocado toast. What did you think this was? Like, come on. Today I'm gonna be filming my Ryerson application video. I'm really excited to film this video literally this morning. Somebody left me a comment asking me to do this video. So this is probably my most requested video. And I feel like because of that, I was putting it off. Like I really wanted to make sure I knew what I was gonna say. So I just spent some time sitting over at my desk, jotting down brief things I wanted to talk about and like structuring the video out so I don't miss anything. This brings me back to my original quarantine vlogs because I would make avocado toast with an arugula salad every single fucking day not even joking every day and i had to take a bit of a break but we're back as you could tell i always show this in my videos but i never talk about it if you've never tried this my friend daniela put me on this her mom actually put me on this it's like a sweet condensed balsamic vinegar convenient because you don't have to make a dressing you literally just put this on it's sweet it's just amazing so try this the fuck out i've also like perfected the order that i make this because i've made it too many times I'm not looking for a one night You're not looking for a love life Maybe so we I showed my Ryerson video, it went so well I'm very very excited to edit it literally it was like 40 minutes of filming because i spoke about all my shit and then my brother came in and also showed his portfolio and talked about it so i might do a part like a two-part video depending but very excited and kind of like ugh, relieved because i've that's been on my list so that's done um i changed just my top i'm wearing yoga pants i think i'm gonna go set up my new lighting that i ordered off of amazon and like just build it because it's like a stand and then like the shadow box and then also build the background stand and see if i can put like a sheet or something just to like see what it looks like that's what i'm gonna do right now also my room's looking a little bit festive i'm debating if i should do a room tour because i'm definitely gonna rework my room as soon as the new year starts so kind of gonna do like one before i do that you know but i'll show you guys what i've set up my Christmas decor. So I set up a little tree. I honestly was not gonna put this up, but I need this. Like my family's not putting our tree up until like way later, so I need this. And look how cute my lip scrub is under. It looks like a damn present. This like silver garland, I hung it from my window. Looks kind of cute. Reminds me of New Year's more than Christmas, to be honest. Let's go, I'll set it up. Shoot my shot like a free throw, young yeah, born upon the free hoes Born the shit, yeah, she knows, that's why they hope blow on my ego No one ain't sick cause I get hoes, I got niggas that empty and reload Got a key here cause the street's cold, my young boy keep a piss in like deep rolls I feel the ball, like they're not guarding me, my circle small My people are part of me, still my blood like I just cut out arteries Drive the mind like I was Oh, Tom, not yet! Oh, Tom, not yet! 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 Trying to see it after. I said this is without the fucking light. This is with the light. And this is just one. We have two. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
bigger background paper than I was gonna get originally, which was just two meters, because this is obviously like double that, and this sheet is gonna be a joke. We're gonna need two sheets. <laughs> so it's set up way better on this part of the basement. Won't do full body, sadly, which is what I planned. But whatever. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, so it's a bit later. Me and Tom are gonna put up our Christmas lights. My mom had them hanging in the backyard, like as cute little summery lights. But honey, we reclaim those. I think what he does is wraps one and then straight, and then one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just puts it through. All right. Well, you tell me when it's done. <laughs> Watch my hot chocolate. We have a dark hot chocolate, which not really my vibe. And then I think we have like a salt, yes, salt English taffy um, hot chocolate. You already know. This is the only reason that we have hot chocolate. Okay, hi. I have to choose a mug. I'm gonna do, okay, all these Pantone mugs. Like, honestly, this is my go-to mug. I got this for Christmas one year and the bottom of it says, you're a cupcake pixie from Magic Land. Okay, that's kind of cringe. <laughs> I did not remember it saying that, but the mug itself is so fucking cute. Like, for real. You got it? I just took in how cute this mug is though. Maybe I'm gonna use this one. But I feel like this one's definitely more of a hot chocolate vibe. You know what I mean? Oh fuck, I'm torn. Okay, this is almost fucking rude. It's so cute. Like, it's gonna be really hot. Thank you. 